This video is presented by Columbia's SNDA chapter, and it's a brief introduction into the area of dental public health. What is dental public health? Dental public health is the science and art of preventing and controlling dental diseases and promoting dental health through organized community efforts. Most dentists in the clinical setting focus their care on individualized patients. However, if you're a dental public health practitioner, your primary focus is on the care of communities and populations. Through the creation of different programs and policies, dental public health specialists strive to establish access to dentists and dental care in different communities, as well as ensure that these communities have adequate oral health education. So not only are they trying to eliminate barriers to care, but they also want to ensure that these communities are equipped with the right resources and knowledge to care for their oral health on their own. Regardless of geographical location, financial status, race and ethnic background, everyone should have access to proper oral care and the dental public health practitioners work towards this. There are three core functions of public health, those being assessment, policy development, and assurance. Over the next few slides, we'll see how these three core functions apply specifically to dental public health. The first core function is assessment. And here we use data collection and research to really figure out what's going on in the community. Specific activities involved in the assessment is evaluating the oral health status of community members. Important data points to gather may be how many people are within this community? How many are adults? How many are children? How many people have cavities? And how many cavities do these people have? How many dentists are practicing within the community? And are there any obvious barriers to dental access here? Questions and data points such as these will help to pinpoint the specific needs of the community. The second core function is policy development, where we use the data and research gathered in the assessment phase to determine what needs to be done to either improve or maintain the oral health of the community. Here's where we may focus on creating laws and programs that ensure access to oral health services to all members of the community. We may also want to develop programs that focus on primary and secondary prevention. So how can we prevent cavities and dental disease from occurring? And when they do occur, how can we stop them or prevent them from getting to the worst case scenario? You may also create laws and programs that actually encourage dentists to work in regions servicing underserved populations. The third and final core function is assurance. Data collection and research has been done policies and programs have been created, and now Assurance is all about putting our plan in action to achieve our community health goals. This may look like increased oral health education and promotion in community settings, such as schools, community centers, and places like the Boys and Girls Club. We could also ensure all school health initiatives include an oral health component, and maybe even programming to screen children for cavities and place sealants on teeth to protect them. Community water fluoridation is another great way to improve the oral health of communities, as fluoride helps to prevent cavities from occurring. Well, that was just a little bit on dental public health, but remember that you are a member of a community. By practicing good oral hygiene habits yourself, you're helping to improve the oral health of your community. For tips on taking care of your teeth and gums, see related videos for brushing, flossing, and nutrition. Thank you.